Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB4258 sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 50 millimeter lenses and a 22 millimeter bridge. And here we can see they definitely look kind of similar to the classic original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses with their iconic metal accents here in the top right corners of the sunglasses. Of course, the painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right lens of the sunglasses as well and then an etched rb logo here in the middle left lens and then a raised ray-ban logo here in the outside corners of the sunglasses so they take a lot of styling cues from the original ray-ban wave here but the biggest difference of course other than the actual style being different is the build quality and the material of the sunglasses these are actually made from pro p frames where the original ray-ban wave here are made out of an acetate material the biggest downside of pro p however is the fact the colors of the frames aren't going to be quite as nice as the colors in acetate so if we take a really close look at the frames we can see they look a little bit more painted on than the true natural tortoise material that we'd find in a pair of sunglasses with acetate frames so in my opinion they're not going to look quite as good as that tortoise acetate that you'd find in an original ray-ban wayfair but these are definitely a lot more sportier than those original wayfares would be these sunglasses have plastic lenses and the optical clarity through these is actually not too bad they have a very nice anti-reflective material here on the back side of the lens and they're going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well however plastic lens optical clarity isn't going to be quite as good as glass and they're also not going to have nearly as good scratch resistance as the all glass lenses that are found in the original Ray-Ban Wayfair so there's definitely pros and cons to each pair as far as styling goes I definitely like the look of these sunglasses on my face I really do think they look very good and they're a nice change up from the original Ray-Ban Wayfair that you see a lot of people wearing out these days. The irregular lens style definitely makes these frames very interesting and again you're not going to see a lot of people wearing this particular style of sunglasses which is also really nice. These sunglasses do have very nice and premium all metal hinges which feel very good when open up and when closing them. These are only three barrel hinges because they couldn't fit a bigger hinge with these nice slim down temples and actually attached to the hinge is a metal stem that runs all the way down to the earrest and that metal stem allows you to heat up the frames and completely customize them to your particular face size or shape. These frames are made in Italy and they're going to say that here in the inner right temple of sunglasses they just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And the build quality of these is definitely very nice. I particularly would really like to see these frames with all glass lenses. I think that would be a really nice combination but right now we are stuck with the plastic lenses which are more lightweight than the all glass lenses. So these frames are actually very lightweight so you can wear sunglasses for all day long without any discomfort. Now as far as coverage from sun goes, unfortunately because of the irregular lens shape, they're not going to offer very good coverage from the sun. So here up top we can see there is a very big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides there's an absolutely massive gap to let sunlight in unprotected. So as far as coverage from sun goes, these definitely don't have very good coverage. So not going to be the most practical pair of sunglasses. And I think the original Ray-Ban Wayfair definitely has these beats as far as coverage from the sun goes. As far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run you $150 on Ray-Ban's website directly. However, I picked up mine for about $20 off on Amazon, so I'm going to leave a link description below directly to Amazon. You guys can check out these sunglasses from there and hopefully save a couple of dollars by doing so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.